Gabriel Murphy. Oh, yeah. Gabriel Murphy is uh, played the last couple of years there at UCLA. Uh, before that, played a few years over at North Texas. What an interesting mix. Went from Texas to LA. Yeah, it's uh... like North Texas, too. Not even like Austin. <laughs> That's uh yeah, that's 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 it's gotta be a little Diversity. culture shock here. Yeah. <laughs> One way of wording it. Um, so <laughs> um six foot three, two hundred and sixty pounds, so nice size there. No age given. Again, he started college though in two thousand nineteen. So, you know, we have to be able to assume at that point that he, you know, probably around twenty three years old or so. Um 22, 13 games, thirty eight tackles, four tackles for a loss, one and a half sacks. One pass deflected and one fumble recovery. Not, not so crazy. But this past year, all of a sudden, sudden kind of clicked. And keep in mind, he was coming from North Texas. So, therefore, a little bit of a jump in, you know, what town he went to at that point. Um, 23, 13 games, 38 tackles, 16 tackles for loss. It quadruples that number there. Uh, goes up to eight sacks, two passes deflected. Has an 85.3 PFF grade there. Um, as far as the pros and cons here, pros is a good first step and good use of hands. Uh, that's very, very key stuff there. People always forget. He who gets off the ground or moves towards the other side of the ball quicker tends to have the advantage. If you can time a snap, that is a skill that will always help you. Um, as far as the cons, no twitch, meaning he's not the guy that can kind of shift and gear a little bit there and move around and kind of fool you. Um, he's prone to penalties. He's had a lot of penalties this past year, and he does have shorter arms. That's obviously going to hurt him a little bit there in the NFL. Where people typically have prototype size. Um, I think he's going to be a round four kind of grade myself there. I, I think he's going to be a guy who will probably start off as a, uh, you know, a backup edge, a pass rushing specialist kind of guy. Um and they're going to hope to, you know, obviously get him into the role of a full timer. But again, when you're getting somebody in the fourth round, the fourth round is not necessarily where you're looking to get a starter. You don't, you don't mind getting yeah. a starter. Don't get me wrong. But in the end, you're happy with somebody who just contributes to the team in some way, shape, or form. That's what you want on day three: contributors. And you just leave it at that, because you can't be picky when you're picking people that have been already passed up three to seven times. By thirty-two teams, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That, that's literally what what these guys are. So, you know, these are not the best of the best of the best of the best, sir. We're gonna get to start getting to those guys soon, though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So, thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much. <laughs>